if you don't want to look thirsty or desperate or set yourself up as a target to be used, you may want to avoid a few of these habits. The first thing that women often do that make them look desperate in new relationships is love bombing or being overly affectionate or being too mushy. Men know whether or not they deserve your affection if they've earned it. If you're constantly melting all over a guy, you may look more like a new lap dog than a new spouse to him. I guess the key to this behavior is make sure that your affections are returned. I personally have been caught off guard by lovey-dovey behavior and terms of endearment that I wasn't really ready to hear before, and it always makes things a bit awkward. It's always painful to watch a woman swoon all over a man who doesn't match or even seems bothered by her romantic enthusiasm. Pouring it on too thick is only acceptable when both parties are completely into it. New relationships are complicated enough in that there are two parties trying to figure out and discover how they need to share their affections with one another. Don't create a need for them to make space by swarming them with your affections until you learn how they best receive love. It can really feel like you're begging for closeness if this is overdone. The second thing that women do that make them look a bit desperate is calling and texting too much. I used to have this girl that I was talking to and trying to get to know. At first she was cool. I had approached her and I was calling her. About a week into it, she started calling me about four times a day. By two weeks, it was eight times. No matter how much I talked to her, it was never enough. No matter how long we were on the phone, she'd always call right back. And if I didn't answer the phone, I get an angry text message and we weren't even officially together. Needless to say, it didn't work out. I had to break things off and I felt so bad about disappointing her, but her obsession with me really just zapped all of my interest in her. I just felt really smothered and I know it hurt her, but there's no neat way to break glass. I never used her body or took anything from her. So she eventually got over it. My point here is add a man to your life, but don't make him your life. Very few people want that level of responsibility. Unless he's a narcissist or he just plans on using you, a man wants to join you in your life. He doesn't want to become your life. One of the easiest ways to impress a man is to have some shit to do and give him time to miss you. You start feeling like property when someone won't back the hell up off of you. 